I'm a dad, dad of two, uh, an 11-year-old and a five-year-old. They keep me pretty busy. I'm a member of the State Emergency Service and I also umpire top grade hockey in Canberra. 37 years old, I'm a type one diabetic. I have a history of uh, injuring myself. I've done, ruptured my ACL, which required a hamstring repair. I also tore my Achilles at the muscle juncture, so that was just a recovery process. In that recovery, I also ruptured the fat pad in my heel and got a DVT. I went from playing hockey to not playing hockey with the ACL, and then when I was recovering the ACL, I tore the Achilles, so again, it limited me what I could do. Once I recovered, I found that my mobility was a bit less than what I had pre-injury. Uh, I was strapping the knee anytime I was doing a, a sport or a physical activity and strapping the, uh, the Achilles as well. So we're spending a lot of money on rock tape. I also used 2XU's compression socks to just try and give some support to the calves and the Achilles to make sure that they, uh, they weren't gonna go snap again. Since I've had the knee brace, I haven't had continued issues with the knee. Everything stays in alignment. I don't get pain when I'm running. Since moving to the Achilles brace, uh, I haven't needed the tape. There is no major physical pain anymore post-activity. It's 100% different to what it was. The fit is fantastic. Uh, I have larger legs, so I'm on the very extreme of the fitting guide, and it fits and it stays and it works perfectly. The socks, compared to the previous ones I was wearing, they're easy to put on. I don't get over compression. I don't get tightness when I'm wearing them. I can wear them for two or three games of hockey straight with no issues, whereas the other socks, you know, you, you got cutting in at the top of the calf behind the knee. Uh, you get none of that with the, the Bound products. I've, I've had a number of knee braces in my time. Cost-wise, they're on par with what I've used, but the product you get is far superior. When I got the knee brace, it was probably a third of the way into the hockey season. Since then, I've done probably close to 100-odd games, plus wearing it every week at the gym, plus wearing it for other sporting activities, and it still fits, still is in good nick. Some of the other products that I've used get through maybe half a season of hockey, and you need to buy a new one. When I first started at the gym, everything was moving a little bit weird. The, the kneecap wasn't going right. I was getting Achilles pain. With the braces on, there's none of that. With the socks, it means that if I go out and I'm wearing all the products for a game of hockey, the next day I can still go out and help my daughter with a hockey, still can go run around and kick the ball with, with Sam afterwards. The recovery aspect and the fatigue is, is completely different wearing them to not wearing them. I also have issues with healing at the, the lower limb extremities or the extremities of my limbs. These products, the socks are fantastic for compression and for uh, helping blood flow to come back through. Recovery is an important aspect of, of any training and these socks help with that and increase the blood flow and increase the oxygen to the areas that need it. Uh, it's vitally important for me as a diabetic and maintaining the circulation in my, my extremities. I told them that I did the Masters National Hockey in excess of 66 Ks over 10 days in 38 degree weather, in pouring rain, wearing these products. And even though I was one of the older ones on the panel, um, I was one of the freshest ones at the end of the game. They're like all products, you, you get the spiel of how good they are, what they can do, what they can't do. Tried them at the gym for a little bit, then bought one. And uh, the reality is that they are as good as they say they are. There is no spiel, it is what you get told is what you get.